Welcome everyone, I'm Mr. Vaughn, and this is a lesson on similar triangles. We have similar triangles any time that we can show all three angles of one triangle are congruent to all three angles of a second triangle. So for instance, we're showing in our diagram here that all the angles of triangle ABC are congruent to their corresponding angles here in triangle DEF, so we write it out this way. Triangle ABC, this is our symbol for, is similar to triangle DEF. Now, one of the most important characteristics about similar triangles is that corresponding sides are proportional. This means that the ratio of any two corresponding side lengths, like length of AB over the length of DE, is equal to the ratio of any other two corresponding side lengths, like for instance the length of BC over the length of EF. And each of those ratios has to be equal to the third ratio of the length of AC over the length of DF. All right. Now, let's take a look at how we'd use this in a problem in geometry. We, in our example, we have AE is parallel to CD, so let's draw that in there, a little mark to show that they're parallel. And we want to show two things. We want to first show that the triangle AEB is similar to triangle DCB, and then we want to find the length of segment BE. So in starting off, to show that these two triangles are similar, we have to show that all three angles of one are congruent to all three angles of the second. So let's start off with this angle right here congruent to that one. We can say angle ABE is congruent to angle CBD because they are vertical angles. And as we know, all vertical angles are congruent. Next, we can say that angle A is congruent to angle D. Because if we look, we've got AD as a transversal, and angle D and angle A would be alternate interior angles. So there's our reason for that one, alternate interior angles. And we can say angle E is congruent to angle C by the same reasoning. Okay, They are alternate interior angles if you look at CE, you can see that that's a transversal cutting parallel lines AE and CD. Okay, we've got all three angles congruent, so that means that those two triangles are similar. Now, let's try to find the length of segment BE. Well, we know from corresponding sides being proportional that the length of BD, or 15, over its corresponding side length, which is 40, has to be equal to the length of BC, which is 9, over its corresponding side length, BE. Let's just call that X for now, so we'll put 9 over X in our proportion. Now we can solve the proportion, figure out the length of BE. We can reduce this fraction by dividing both of them by 5, we'll get 3 eighths, and now if we cross multiply, 3 times x will be 3x equals 8 times 9 is 72. Dividing both sides by 3, we will get x is equal to 24. So the length of BE is 24. And that is how we solve this problem. So nice job, and good luck with the rest of your homework. You can get more geometry help by signing up for Nutshell Math. Hope to see you there.